to remember now, but Joel Embiid did miss his first two seasons due to injuries. He said, it was rough. Think about what I went through and how it prepared me to be a better man. I really feel like I'm the process, and the process is about me. So every time I step on the court, it's all about having fun. I'm just enjoying my time in the league. Kevin, back to you. A lot of depth in there, David. Thank you for that one. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Look at Philadelphia. They've got the number one record in the conference, and because of it, each night out, their competition is going to bring it right at them. And check it out. Indiana, eight games out. I think for the Pacers, they haven't looked anything like the team we thought they'd be this year. Still such a long way to go. They could be in line for a long, tumultuous season. I'm not sure if this can be written off as just a slow start. I think uh, this might be the team they really are. Look at the 76ers starting group. Outside the wings are Curry and Green. The stars of this team in the post, Harris and Embiid. And it's Russell in at the point guard for the Pacers. In at the forward positions, Warren and Sabonis. The guard pair are Brogdon and Levert. And it's Turner in at the five spot. This is his first free throw of the game. First one falls, and after a few years of bouncing around, Seth Curry has established his place, Chris, in this NBA. Yeah, Kevin, every team needs to stretch the floor. He brings a great attitude and a high basketball IQ. I mean, that's valuable piece to the puzzle. Both free throws good for Curry. For those teams, Greg, that had head coaching changes, how long does it take to fully implement a new system? Well, it typically takes a full season. And also, it's just on how the system is. But all things being equal, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game. Indiana shooting their first free throws of this Take a break, take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Brogdon. Well, it's one of the things most fans don't notice, but Malcolm Brogdon, Greg, is one of the best free throw shooters ever. Uh, how about had a year where he shot 93% from the line to lead the NBA and for his career, just about a 90% shooter 
That's a huge advantage for a point guard like Brogdon, a guy who handles the ball late in close games. That one is no good. And he's the glue that holds this team together. Brogdon's calm demeanor and lead by example approach is so valuable to this squad. Shot clock at three. Warren, good. And getting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. Well, that's something that they scouted him coming into tonight. They know he can make this shot. That's a poor effort to finish. Here's Curry following the basket by T.J. Warren. Harris looking it over. The 76ers need to get off a shot. No one cover. Well, they can't allow Russell good looks for the first. I mean, he's too consistent from that range. Rocked in the pass to Turner. Indiana moving it around. Three-pointer. And he's good on the three ball. We come at us, and we're coming right back at you. We talk about great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Now, here is Russell. His last outing with 20 points. In against Russell. Rocked in the pass to Warren. Passes it to Turner. A shot off that time. Good D by NB. Harris kicks to Russell. Back to Harris. Embiid with a screen on Sabonis. Harris dishes to Embiid. And the layup's good off the glass. Well, Embiid slowing down Embiid. He powers right past the contact. For Indiana, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. Russell against Brogdon. Levert the pass to Sabonis. Count it. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song. Back. And four. Now, here is Russell. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16 and a half points a game. Outside, Green, pass to Harris. And here's Russell. Curry looking it over. Like at six. Takes the 13-footer, and that one's good. Russell. Russell's got five. Oh, they pay the price for giving Russell a mid-range look like that. I mean, that shot is well within his abilities. I've done against Russell. Pass to Sabonis. Over Harris. And oh boy, a lot of content there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Harris. Man, a lot can be said about DeMontis Sabonis' scoring ability. But everything else he does, he also excels at. Also a terrific passer for a big man. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. You know, when you think about the other areas where Sabonis stands out, rebounding has to come to mind as well. Yeah, and Kevin, he, he's a guy who fights for possessions, not going to overwhelm you athletically, but he knows his team relies on him to be a force on the glass, so he's never afraid to get physical to win those battles. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And with Sabonis... As his minutes have increased, so has his production. The future is bright for this young man. Now here's Curry. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. To the inside. Here's Embiid. Bank shot. No good. And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for Indiana. This game coming after a loss against the Jazz. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. I mean, I, I flat out, I, mean, I, I thought they looked overmatched. I, mean, I, 
I thought they lacked aggressiveness and hard out there. There's Embiid. That one go. Just count it. What a finisher Embiid is. He's a pro at not letting the defense dictate to him. The pass to Levert. Screen by Sabonis. Baseline jumper. Got a piece of it. That's size winning out. I mean, he needed every single inch to haul in that one. Curry passes to Embiid. The dish to Russell. Run down in the low post. It goes. Russell's got seven points. But not just the jump shoot. Russell is also very capable of getting the downside. There's a bonus. To the middle. Turner against Embiid. Six on the shot clock. Warren, the pass to Sabonis. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. And the confidence from Sabonis. Since being traded from OKC back in 2017, this guy has raised his level. Now, here is Russell. He's got seven. And beat inside. Turner covering. And beat no good. Levert against Curry. Sabonis kicks to Brogdon. Now here's Levert. He's coming off a 34-point game against the Utah Jazz. A tricky shot for Levert. Defense plays all over him, but he draws a foul on that attempt. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Two shots. Shooting two. And the free throw drops for Levert. Improving so much since his rookie season. I can't wait to see the next step Levert makes in his career. Andre Drummond's checked in for the 76ers. Levert hits both of them. Philadelphia has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Embiid sets the pick for Russell. Embiid with it. His last outing, 16 points for him. Rain finds Drummond. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Levert the pass to Brogdon. Shot is off. Good D by Drummond. The 76ers lead. Bounce pass, Russell. And B, the pass to Drummond. Let's go. And Demontis Sabonis pulls it down. They say there are no easy finishes in the NBA. But that's it. Rodden kicks to Sabonis. Levert against Curry. Shot clock at five. Sabonis. Not going to go that time. 76ers have gone six or ten from the field in this ballgame. Green dishes to Curry. Top of the key, Russell. Feeds it to Drummond. Nice D from Sabonis. Pacers have gone 50% from the field at this point. Four of eight. Here's LeBert. Misses off the left iron. Curry against LeBert. Outside Curry. Outside Green. Drummond with a screen on Brogdon. Here's Russell. The 76ers with another miss. I thought that one was going to go down. Mid-range jumpers. 
Oh man, that's usually a bunny with the D playing soft like that. And that one's good, Brogdon. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Oh, you know what it is. One play at a time. That's got to be the mindset, especially in such a tight game. Now here's MB. He seems to always find a way to rack up points, currently averaging 24 points a game. Outside Warren. Passes to Turner. Russell against Turner. Curry outside. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Curry's got five points so far. Oh, oh man, tremendous pass misses. by Russell. Great at whipping it around. Sabonis. Tory Craig comes in for Warren. Jeremy Lamb's checked in for Karis LeVert. And it's TJ McConnell in for Malcolm Brogdon. Then for the 76ers, Matisse Thibault's checked in for Joel Embiid. Shake Milton comes in for Curry. And Maxie's subbed in for Russell. And so it's Indiana with it. Trailing by two. McConnell passes to Turner. Craig up top. On the wing, Lamb. Turner with a screen for Lamb. Four on the shot clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Releases from 15. Rebound by the 76ers. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. And, and Kevin, when we talk about new age bigs in the NBA, one of the first I think of is Miles Turner. He's a guy who has led the league in blocks, but can also stretch the floor. Now, here's McConnell after the mess from Andre Drummond. Now, Turner, he's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Outside, Lamb takes a three. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. Philadelphia's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. And here's Milton. Here's Bible. Let's it go with a three. Another three from Philadelphia. In 2018-19, not only did Turner lead the NBA in swats, he also shot almost 40% break on his three. And, and you go back just like 10 years ago, you, you'd never think we'd see players with the skill set of Turner. But this is how the game has evolved, and, and guys like Turner are just so valuable for teams to have. No hesitation to get to the game. He uses his height advantage to convert easily. To Milton. Drummond with a screen on Lamb. Bobbed up there for Drummond. It was impossible to keep Drummond from scoring his side, no matter how physical you get with him. Now here's Lamb. 
defended by Milton. And Lamb, here we go. And that one goes long. The 76ers leading by five. Milton the pass to Maxi. Now here's Drummond. Forty-four seconds left in the first. Now here's McConnell. Defense is right there. Back to Lamb from past the arc. Green with the rebound. Philadelphia has gone three or four on three pointers in the first quarter, doing well from long range. Maxi passes to Milton, and there is the foul. It's on Tory Craig. That's his first foul. Foul right off the bat. You hate to pick up your first one so quick. Separated by five. And here's Maxi. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Lamb. And so the first quarter is in the books. 76ers lead by five. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. And one of the league leaders and steals and deflections, T.J. McConnell explains how he causes havoc on the floor. It's all about just reading the way they're passing the ball in. Um, if I see a moment of weakness where they dislodge and give me a chance to get in and get my hand in there, I try to take advantage of it. He does, but he is all hustle. An undrafted pack in 2015, but that energy and effort is what's earned McConnell a place in this league. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. The three-pointer has been a major weapon for them in early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the perimeter. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off the tournament. And now let's check out the lineups. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of the play. So on the floor for Philadelphia. And the small and power forwards are Thibault and Harris. Russell is out there with Maxi, and it's Drummond in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Good evening, Kevin. Malcolm Brogdon has become a Pacer stalwart. He said, I fit the identity of this team as an underdog that overperforms and proves me wrong. It has to be the leader of this team. I lead with my voice and by example. I'll be fearless on the court so that my teammates can follow. Kevin? I love what he's about, David. Thank you. Now, here's Maxi, And that one is good. Maxi's got the lead up to 10 now for the 76ers. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a quick pass. Warren with the ball. He's picked up by Drummond. And the shot by Warren, no good. A fantastic effort on D to get up in his face and deny the layup. Axi passes to Harris and dunk by Harris. Oh, showing off that athleticism. Harris is more than happy to slam it down like this. Pass to Sabonis. Vicious to Warren. Here's the pass to Levert. And that one drops for him. And teams often try to slow down point guards with bigger defenders. But, Greg, you locked up without that edge. Uh, how'd you do it? A uh, little athleticism, Kevin, and a lot of desire. Here's Drummond. Karis LeVert making his last shot. Can't hit from in close. Outside Warren. 
pass to McConnell. Here's Brissett. Now here's Lavert. He's guarded by Russell. Count it, and the Philadelphia lead has been cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Lavert. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. Now, here is Russell. Ten points for him. It's good. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. you got to keep getting him touches. McConnell finds Levert. Back to McConnell. Sabonis, high post. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Just five on the clock. The pointer, Levert. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Drummond's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Label. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Harris has got his third assist on the night. Did you see the no-look pass by Harris right there? I mean, he's a wing that knows how to move the ball. Now, here's McConnell. No points in the game yet for him. Now, here's Levert. Not a lot of room. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got his fifth rebound in this one. Harris kicks to Russell. Drummond with a screen on McConnell. Russell passes to Maxi. Another three for Philadelphia. Oh, great ball movement there. Pacers trail by 15. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Lavert in the corner. Pass to McConnell. From deep. Rebound by the 76ers. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. And that was not an easy game for them. I mean, they barely hung on at the end of regulation before they were able to pull it out in overtime. They got that little burst of energy in the extra period. Once they survived regulation, they were not going to let this one slip away. Now, here's McConnell. Following the missed shot by Tobias Harris, McConnell finds Levert. Sabonis' is screen on Harris. Here's Levert. Connects on the nine-footer. Levert's got six here in this quarter. And got to push Levert out of that area because he's very comfortable looking to score from there. Russell passes to Harris. Drummond with a screen on Warren. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Pass to McConnell. Now, here's Levert. Defended by Thibel. Sabonis inside. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Utah Jazz. And how about the job he did rebounding as well, guys? I mean, just the dominant performance on the glass. Here is Russell. After the basket by Sabonis. Here's Maxie. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Maxie's got eight points. He's finally coming around, trying to make up for that goose egg he put up in the first quarter. And Russell, a player known for his offense, but... Greg, he's put in work to improve his play on defense as well. Yeah, you know, Russell was known for his lack of defense there for a while. He's been trying to improve that part of his game. It's a long road, but I tell you what, he is definitely taking steps. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Kevis Lumber, two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Sabonis. Torrey Craig comes in for Percet. Jeremy Lamb's checked in for Warren. And Malcolm Brogdon subbed in for TJ McConnell. And then for Philadelphia, Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. Shake Milton comes in for Maxi, And Curry subbed in for Russell. Lavert hits both of them. 76ers leading by 12. Milton the pass to Embiid. Back to Milton. There's the lob for Harris. Shot 
clock at six. Fades and shoots. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. You know what? Just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in rhythm. Lamb finds Turner. Tipped away. It's stolen by Milton. Driving the lane over Turner. Good work eventually by Turner. Credit to Deep for not giving up on that play. He's a tough cover now. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. And the 76ers making a change here. Green's checked in. That's good from Craig. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and it extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfectly blind so far here in the second quarter. will bring it up for the Pacers. Nine point in. Gets the land. Over Milton. And misses it off the right side of the rim. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like it. He knows the best thing they could do was try to get the board easy looks. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, Coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Here's Turner. 76ers getting the button. Indiana moving it around. Lamb against Embiid. Lock it four. Here's Turner. Offline with his three. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And the pass to Harris. The three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. So the Pacers will take it the other way. Ogden against Curry. Out to Lamb. The feed to Turner. To Lamb. Turner with a screen for Lamb. For three. And Embiid with the block. And time on the rejection. I mean, he beats feel for when to go after blocks is, is fantastic. He dishes it to Green. Feeds to Embiid. For Craig. Fires it up. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul goes against Indiana. Last season, Embiid posted career highs as a score. And Greg, he did it with unbelievable efficiency. And how about hovering around that coveted 50, 40, 90 club? What's amazing is how comfortable he looks. The defense is never able to speed him up. And the first one at the line is good. <laughs> and when you bring up the process to Embiid. He just says it's an ongoing thing. Yeah, he's explained it a few times. I mean, it's a process for making the playoffs, then another one for the conference finals, then another one just to go to the finals. And that doesn't even have you winning a ring yet. <laughs> Brissette has checked in for Indiana. So one for two that time at the strike. Yeah, you keep Calvin Town. Embiid has been compared to Kim Olajuwon before, and, and you can see why. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Green. Passes it to Kerr. Embiid with it. Harris with it. He had 25 points in the win against Toronto. I mean, if you look at his free throw numbers. I mean, this shows you how much pressure he put on this time. And love the size Milton gives him in the backcourt. Yeah, 6'6 six, six with a 7 foot wingspan. He's a good finisher in the lane. Great around the rim. Shot release. At the line for the 76ers. Yeah, he's a Because of his height, it hasn't been a problem. The well, 76ers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game.
and he knocks down the first one. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. some of the numbers for Joel and B. And guys, I think the grind of the season is catching up with him a little bit. It, it comes across in his rebounding numbers. Over the past five games, they've taken a tumble. He seems to be wearing down a bit. Maybe tonight, though, he can get his legs back under him. Both good from the line that time. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Here's Brogdon. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. And the size and muscle of Brogdon able to shrug off the contact with ease on the way up. Curry passes to Milton. Inside, MB, and MB throws it down. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Lamb finds Craig. It's Brockton, top of the key. Pass to Lamb. Down low, find the shoot. Count it, good. Usually he's a shoot first guy, but this time Lamb with the instincts and intelligence to set up teammates off the pick and roll. Milton on top, covered by Lamb. Now Milton. Fires for three. The rebound by Brogdon. Pacers trail by 12. Pass to Brissette. Turner with the screen. His first shot coming late. And the Pacers tack on two more. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You see this all too often. You have to be willing to kill it. Now here is Harris. Craig pulls it in. The defense has done a good job of forcing him to a tough shot. Brogdon out shot. Nineteen seconds left now here in the second. With the drive, no good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Green kicks to Curry. The pass to Harris. Off the left rim and out. And that concludes the first half. 76ers on top. They're up by 10. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Joel, as you look at the game so far, how would you evaluate yourself? 
I think defensively I'm doing pretty good. Offensively, I still got to work on a lot of stuff. But it's going well. I just got to calm down, slow down, let the game come to me, and we'll be all, all good. Hey, thanks for your time, man. See you in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Welcome, everybody. This game revealing a big disparity in play. What a performance so far for the Philadelphia 76ers. Their passing was clearly superior in the first half. They were playing a team game, not one-on-one -on -one basketball. Good player movement, good ball movement, and they have a healthy lead to show it. And getting back to the game at hand, a nod to two guys who have really brought it for their respective teams. Great fight we're seeing from both of these guys. Each one trying to pull his team across the finish line. You know they love this kind of a challenge. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. for you two quarters in the books. It's been a clinic out there with D'Angelo Russell. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And that's somewhat of a surprise. I mean, he's been really patient and unselfish. And so Lavert will bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Trailing by 10. Lavert on the wing. He's paired with Warren. In the post, it's Sabonis and Turner. And it's brought in, in at the point. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Now here is Harris after Malcolm Brodkin's miss. And they recover. Harris outside. Passes it to Embiid. Green kicks to Harris. Five on the clock. Pass to Embiid. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Harris has got four assists in the game. Seven footers like Embiid, they aren't supposed to shoot like that. Rodged in the pass to Levert. Takes it inside and uses both hands to jam it in. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over defensively. That's just poor communication. Green, no luck. Pacers trail by 10. Here's Warren. He's been playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. 76ers have gone one of three since starting the second half. Outside Russell. Over in the corner, Green sinks the three-pointer. Green's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Oh, man. What's impressive about Green is for his career, he's shooting well over 40% from beyond. The arc. Outstanding. And that one's good, Brogdon. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easy it makes it for him to get to the cup. Here's Russell. That shot, no good. Great tee that time from Levert. Embiid against Brogdon. Sabonis is screen on Embiid. Brogdon kicks to Warren. Sabonis sets the pick for Warren over Embiid. Sabonis. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's the second Let's go to the 2K leaderboard. For the past 10 games, these teams have been fantastic on rebound. The 76ers number one. What a show of strength in terms of rebounding. I mean, they've really controlled the glass here of late, playing with some extreme physicality. First free throw is good. C.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana. Drummond's checked in for Philadelphia. Majis Thibel comes in for Danny Green.
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Russell looking around. Drummond finds Russell. And Bede with a screen on McConnell. And they double up Russell. Here's Drummond. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his second person. It's on Karis Levert. And the force Drummond plays with really making the D feel uneasy. If you look at the leaders in rebounding, it's almost a sure thing that Drummond's name is going to be near the top of that list. That's the kind of impact on the board Shoot he's two. made over his career. And he makes the first. And Greg, when it comes to players who've led the league in rebounding, very few have done it as many times as Drummond. And of the guys that have done it more than twice, like Andre, I've got some good news for him. Every one of them is either in the Hall of Fame or soon will be. Maxie's checked in for Curry. And both free throws good for Drummond. Well, what I like about Drummond is that he stepped up as a leader, which is important at this stage of his career. Pass to Levert. The kick out to Warren. McConnell with it. Now defended by Embiid. On the clock. And the rejection by Embiid. And that's out of bounds. Indiana. Indiana will retain possession. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Just two to shoot. And the shot by Warren, no good. A 76ers leading by 11 to the paint. Here's Thibel, and he makes good on the lane. Thibel's got seven points. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. Now here is Levert. He's got 12. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Drummond sets the screen for Russell. He's looking for Drummond and finds him. Hammers the alley-oop through. Wow, Drummond leaving the floor so quickly. The chemistry he has with his teammates on these alley-oops is very impressive. Now here is Levert. He's tightly guarded, and it's sent back by Drummond. Russell passes to Maxi, and that's a foul. It's called on T.J. Warren. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Here's Maxi. We had not a lot of success for them from three-point range here in the second half. McConnell kicks to Levert. Sabonis sets the pick for Levert. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. The 76ers, leading by 15, takes a step back. Here's Maxi, And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Sabonis has got seven rebounds in the game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Now, here's Levert. He's got 12. Over Maxi. A nice shot by Levert. Levert's got four points now in the quarter. And Levert is playing with such passion on offense. He's just not afraid to play a big role on that end. And Russell gets it to go. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. Now here's Levert. He's covered closely. He kicks it to Turner. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. And that is his first foul of the game. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. The Pacers making a switch here. Lambs checked in. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Philadelphia on D. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Six to shoot. Turner with a screen on Russell. Into the lane, McConnell, and it's sent back by Drummond. And Drummond, a fearsome defensive presence. He can put you on your heels. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. McConnell passes to Sabonis, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drummond. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Tuesday, they'll face off against Donovan Mitchell and the Utah Jazz. Then on Thursday, they'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. You know, it, it might sound cliche, but a road trip like this one is a great time for this team to build chemistry on and off the court. Chemistry absolutely matters in the NBA, and these are the kinds of opportunities teams need to build them. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. We see this all too often. You have to be willing to put it in. Now here's MB. He's got nine. And that one's good. Russell. Well, well, he's always been known as a streaky player. Tonight, Russell's streak is the good kind. He's rolling. There's a bonus. Good D by MB. The 76ers leading by 16. Here's Thibault. Seven points in the game. Pacers with the rebound. Sabonis has got nine rebounds now tonight. Warren finds McConnell. Back to Warren. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Brissette has checked in for Miles Turner. The 76ers also with a sub. Milton's checked in. And here's McConnell. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Down to five on the shot clock. Good D by Drummond. He's dragged them down with his performance today. A whole lot of zeros from him on the stash. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. We have seen today's athletes taking stands for social justice. All-star Bradley Beal says we understand there will be a backlash, but we don't care about that. I'm a human being, a citizen, just like everybody else. I have family and friends still living in those environments. Their voice. Kevin? All right, David, thank you very much. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese Maxey. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Tory Craig, he's checked in for Indiana. And so it's a bonus who brings up the ball for the Pacers. It's a 13 point game. The dish to land. And there's the pass to Craig. Here's Brissette, guarded by Embiid. Up top, Sabonis. Pass to Brissette. And it's off from three-point range. The 76ers leading by 13. Milton with it. Over Lamb. And the shot falls short this time. There's a screen to the middle. Here's Brissett. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Now, here's Thibault. He has seven. Pass to Embiid. The 76ers again can't hit it. Pacers trail by 11. Now, Craig inside. Here's Brissett. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And one on MB. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup. But that's exactly what you need to do. Hey, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach you've seen so far for the 76ers? If you want to see how efficient the offense is running, a great stat to look at is points off assist. And they've gotten a ton of assists throughout this game. Couple that with just how well they've shot it from beyond. 
and they've made this thing look easy. The first one falls for him. The Pacers making a switch here. Hopkins checked in. Then for the 76ers, Tobias Harris has checked in for Embiid. Green comes in for Matisse Thibel. And it's Seth Curry in for Maxi. He's perfect from the line this time. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Letting the pass to Harris. Drummond the screen. Down low. And Drummond throws it down. Uh, Drummond is an expert at running the pick and roll. The way he dives to the hoop after the screen is virtually impossible for the defense to stop. And along with terrific production, Harris is an interesting team leader. Very positive in his approach. When he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for him. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? Yeah, and, yeah, he does. And the defense has to be aware of this. But you know, for the bottom line, it's going to be the pass. And there's the call on Tobias Harris. That's his fourth foul of the contest. He's a great defense there, anticipated the play and got there first. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Torrey Craig. Pacers trail by nine, and Greg Harris has grown more vocal as his comfort level on the team has risen. And Kevin, he's always had it in him. Now that he's a veteran, he's earned the right. He always seems to bring the guys together. Now here's Lamb. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. And a miss there on the triple. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. Here's Milton. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Pass to Brogdon. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Green's got six rebounds here tonight. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots. Here's Harris. It's tipped. And oh, here we go. Warren's got it. The fast break chance. No good from Lamb. Philadelphia leading by nine. Milton the pass to Harris. Now the pass to Drummond. Outside Curl passes to Harris. Here's Milton. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got his sixth assist on the night. And it's not difficult to see the potential that Harris has. I mean, he's a guy that can do just about everything out there on the floor. Here's Brissett. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. Now here is Harris. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Oh, what is Harris is down deep. He's exceptional with being physical. Really puts defenders in a tough spot. The 76ers have been coming through at the charity store. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. I mean, look, every year Harris looks more confident. He goes through stretches where he can dominate. And Harris drops them both. Impeccable hook from the line since halftime. Brogdon against Curry. The shot by Brogdon, no good. Outside Curry. Here's Harris. Nails the 16-foot. Harris has got four points this quarter. Well, I, I tell you what, Harris is a solid mid-range shooter. And so it's Philadelphia looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Back right after this.
And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. No, it's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. The 76ers leading by 13. And so in the game for the 76ers, down on the block, it's Harris and MB. Outside the wings are Curry and Green. And it's Russell in at the five. Now here's Curry. Embiid with a screen on Brogdon. It's Curry with the drive. That one is good from Joel Embiid. That's a good heads up play for Seth. Look, he scans the floor, finds wide open men. Brogdon looking it over. Turner with the screen for Levert. And it's Russell with the rebound. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. Pass to Harris. High post, MB. Just five to shoot. And they double up Russell. And MB, the bucket on the assist by Russell. Embiid's got four this quarter. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy. And so far, it's paid off. This and this is how confident Brogdon is in his scoring ability. Able to get it done from everywhere. Embiid with a screen on Brogdon. Here's Curry. That one, no good. And Indiana will come the other way. So he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. The good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. Warren finds Brogdon. Lavert with it. He's guarded by Russell. Turner with a screen for Lavert. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Due to that aggressive style of play on the offensive end, Lavert is kind of just used to contact at this point. Now, here is Russell. Harris passes to Russell. Here's MB. He's covered by Warren. Uses the glass to finish the lane. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Curry against Lippert. Shoots over Curry. That one wide left. The 76ers leading by 15. Pass to Russell. Here is bounce pass. Here's MB. by MB. Yeah, MB is getting everything he wants on offense. He's playing some aggressive basketball. Time called here, Indiana. Time time to talk it over. You look at D'Angelo Russell. What a contribution. There should only be one thing they're talking about in this time. I'm trying to deny him the ball in the paint before he does any more damage. Sixers also making a change. Axie's checked in for Curry.
We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in. McConnell kicks to Warren. McConnell passes to Brissette. Now, here's Warren. Lock at six. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Embiid's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Russell. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Russell's got 19 points. Nice pass here to set that basket up. Here's Levert. Embiid with the steal. Maxi passes to Russell. Harris outside. Warren against Green. Shot clock at six. Left side, Harris. No good there. Pacers trail by 19. Outside Warren. The pass to McConnell. Back to Warren. They need this one. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Well, until he starts knocking down some shots, I don't think the deficit's going to get this small. The feed to Embiid. Shoots over Warren. It's deflected. And for those who have questions about Warren's defense, there's his answer. He just exudes a love of the game, guys. You can see it in everything he does. This guy lives and breathes the game. Now, here's Levert. He made the postseason all seven years with the Kings. Deep playoff run. Sensational play. Talk about the chemistry on those teams. Chemistry was very important. You know, I knew that being a leader of the team, that it was incumbent upon me to make sure all players felt comfortable. Not only that you would hold them accountable, but that you would include them. You know, we were a family. Shout out to all my fellas that I played with. I wanted to make them better. I hope I did, but they all made me better. And the first one drops. The Pacers making a switch here. Sabonis has checked in. Second free throw, no good. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Russell passes to Harris. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Fader on the way. And B, no good. I like what he's trying to do. Shaking the D with the fadeaway. Tough look. And really, he played mistake-free basketball up to that point. That's the only time he's turned it over so far. Philadelphia leading by 20. Now, here is Russell. Green, the pass to Embiid. Leans inside. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Timeout call the 76ers. And back in the day, Greg, Allen Iverson got criticized for devaluing practice. Now, we've got healthy players sitting out a game. Has load management gone too far, do you think? Not a practice, but a game. We got guys missing games, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. But I, honestly, I'm really all for load management in this regard. If I owned a team and I had to invest $200 million in a player, I want to do everything I can to prolong my investment. And the reality is we've got our stars playing at unprecedented lifts at higher levels later in their career. So I'm all for doing what we can to prolong the careers of our very best players.
Six on the shot clock. Russell dishes to Green. Passes it to Maxey. For the three. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got rebound number seven for him tonight. To the inside. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Six points for Miles Turner. A big right Turner just using that height inside. It's almost a lost art. Now, here's Maxi. Levert defending. And here's Maxi. Pass to Russell. Deflects the pass. And stolen by McConnell. Here's Levert. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance in the line. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line. For the Pacers. Kevis Lumber, two shots. Two, two. And he knocks down the first one. We always have some tweaks to the rules every season, Chris. What do you think the league should focus on now when it comes to the next changes? You know, I would hope the league would address uh, the boardroom. I hope they would address the ownership. I hope they would address uh, management. Uh, hopefully, uh, the league can start to look like uh, the makeup of the players that it employs uh, when we talk about uh, ownership uh, and things of that nature. Maxi passes to Embiid. Outside, Russell. Knocks down the three ball. Russell. Russell's got 10 points here in the second half. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Turner with a screen on green. Warren against Embiid. Sabonis kicks to Levert. 13 feet away, and that one hits back iron. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. Here's Maxi. No good that time. And Indiana will come the other way. Warren finds McConnell. Back to Warren. Fires the three. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. Love the confidence from Warren on the catch and shoot. Coaches don't want to see their players hesitate. Here he goes. Oh, that's blocked. Pass to Levert. McConnell in the corner. Harris and McConnell gets it to go. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. McConnell against Russell on the pass to Harris. Now here's MB. He's guarded closely. Shoots over Turner. That one is good from Joel MB. And Bede's got 21 in the game. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. McConnell. 
Toronto passes to Levert. Warren against Green. Back to Levert. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Levert's got seven points here in this quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Harris finds Green. And here's Maxi. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. And Bede sets the pick for Harris. Over Turner. Harris, no good. Even off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held him back as a team. Levert the pass to McConnell. Now Turner, guarded by Harris. Turner inside. Harris is there. And Turner kicks to Levert. Over Russell. And it's Levert missing. The 76ers leading by 14. Outside Russell. At the top of the key, MB. Shoots over Turner. MB, no good. And so Levert will bring it up for the Pacers. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 56 left in the fourth quarter. Rejected by Harris. Oh, he's known for his offense more than defense. Harris plays with high motor. He likes to make plays. And he's able to get it back. Tyrese and he gets Maxie. the bucket. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. Now, here's Levert. A bonus shot on the wing, and he overshot that one, missing. Philadelphia's gone one and two from three point range here in the fourth. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them, huge margin of victory for Philadelphia. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions, and the nice night it ended up being for D'Angelo Russell. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Here's Russell, Karis Levert making his last shot to the paint. Here's MP, and the officials call him for a three-second three violation. violation. And it's the Pacers with the ball. They trail by 14. Outside, Lamb. Turner with a screen for Lamb. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Andre Drummond picks one up. At the line. For Indiana, Jeremy Lamb. Two shots. And he makes the first. Now, after that great college tournament, we all remember Jeremy Lamb performing in. Lamb was drafted 12th overall by the Rockets, but his career had a bit of a seesaw for a while. And so he makes both from the line. Curry with it. Ah! 
So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And then, let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. And really an outstanding effort all the way around. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Hey, thank you, Kevin. Joel, congrats on the win. A quality win. How did you secure it? Oh, we played. We were tough tonight. We won soft. Uh, we shared the ball defensive, and we were really good. And that's what we got to do the rest of the season. Well, you're building towards something good, man. Congratulations on the win. Kevin? David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, D'Angelo Russell.